today is the day. And the day that today is the day of is the day that we're going to decorate for spring. Specifically in the kitchen for sure, maybe also in the dining room, but these are sort of the main areas of our house and these are the spots that give me the most joy to have seasonally decorated. So after Christmas, I did take down all of my Christmas decor or most of my Christmas decor. There are some bits and pieces that I realized I forgot, like this garland that is half falling down anyway. But I didn't really want to decorate for spring, obviously, in January. I love Valentine's Day, but I'm not going to do an entire kitchen of Valentine's Day stuff. It just kind of looked really sad, and I haven't restyled it or really done anything in here, as you can tell. And just lately, I am full on ready for spring. I know that it's technically not spring, but it's spring in my heart. And I am always a fan of decorating with however you're feeling. So we're gonna do that today and we're gonna finally do some spring decorating in here. Also, I got dressed up just for the occasion. Lately, I have been working a lot of house projects that are very dirty. And so I'm always in like leggings and a gross old t-shirt. And so today I really wanted to dress up just a little bit. But first, we're going to kick things off with a super deep clean. I like to take everything down, wipe them down real good before I put everything back on. Don't worry, we're going to clean the countertops too. Some of this stuff I think I'm just going to like leave up here and like clean, move, clean, move. So obviously our kitchen is a lot of white, uh, which for a lot of reasons I do like, but sometimes it is like a lot of white. <laughs> and just yesterday I had the idea that it would be really fun to like add in maybe some like peel and stick wallpaper, like really easy to put up and really easy to remove that way. Like if I'm not feeling it after a few months, I can just pull it back down. But because I decided it literally yesterday, I was kind of limited to what's available at stores that I could pick up from. So I looked around and there was one that I was like, oh, this could be, this could be fun. So I got this from Walmart, but I think that they sell this actually at like Lowe's and Target and like, uh, like a bunch of places like that. Like maybe even like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever, but it is just this very sort of simple, but somewhat vintage looking like floral pattern. And that's what I wanted something that felt very vintage because obviously I love vintage, but um, I also wanted something that felt very springy. So I think this will be really fun, but oh, I forgot to mention. So where I want to put it is in between the shelves. I feel like that'd be like a really fun place to have like a little pop of pattern and color and it would just add like a whole other like dimension to the kitchen. So. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I guess we'll see how easily it goes up, but I think we're gonna do that before we put anything back on these like lower shelves. That way it's everything's out of the way and we could just hang it up. But I will have to cut out sort of like, like where the shelves meet the, the little board back there. Like there's like a little divot. So I will have to like exacto knife, I think, um, to make it work. So, but yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a try. And See how it goes. <laughs>
got it up and I, I love it. I think this is so fun. I really love having like some pattern here and I feel like I might do this more often. Maybe not every season, but maybe like come fall, I'll, I'll swap it out and get a different like peelable wallpaper to swap in. Cause I feel like this is just, this is so fun. So now that we've got that up, I want to just go ahead and decorate the shelves, get all my fun stuff. But first let's bring everything up and also do a little baby thrift haul. I have gotten a few things recently while I've been thrifting specifically with spring in mind. I can't remember if I shared this before. I feel like it might've been part of a older thrift haul that I did, but I've been holding onto this specifically for spring. I don't know why it just feels extra springy to me, but it's a little ceramic berry basket. And I just think it is so adorable. We're definitely gonna use that today. I actually got this yesterday. It is a mug with a chicken on it. <laughs> And to me, nothing screams spring quite like a mug with a little chicken on it. And it's got just like a really cute little like floral pattern. Feels very cottage core, you know, grandma core to me. And I just absolutely loved it. It was too adorable to pass up in my opinion. Uh, I also have been on the hunt specifically for spring mugs. I love to have mugs on my little peg peg wall back there and I also just drink a lot of coffee. So I, I love to have mugs. And I've been kind of surprised, but just, like there's not very many good like spring mugs. I'm not sure where all of the mugs, all the spring mugs are, but we at least got this guy. How adorable is this little like berry bowl? So it looks like a strawberry and it's just a little glass dish. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it. I gotta figure that out, but I think it's, it was just way too cute to pass up. So I did get these mugs actually, but the thing is that these are not super like super usable mugs. Um, number one, they are, I, I forget the name of this type of glassware. I'm sure somebody out there knows. So let me know if the woman I bought them from, she was very sweet and she's incredibly knowledgeable. And she was telling me that, you know, they're essentially a type of milk glass that is then painted. I do tend to play it fast and loose when it comes to using vintage dishes and stuff like that. When I'm really like totally aware that it was a like a fully painted thing like this, I tend to err on the side of not using them um, to actually like drink or eat out of just in case with the lead paint. But either way, I was totally fine. I got them for two bucks each, so $4 for the pair. And I just love them as like a little decor moment themselves anyway so they're adorable but we won't be using them and unfortunately the other downside is that I didn't think about it until we got back and I, I tested it out but the handle is just way too small on these to fit over my pegs so that's a little bit sad you might just sit them on the shelves I think they'll be cute sitting on the shelves either way so I think I got these like quite a while ago like maybe in the fall I've been holding on to them for for a while but they were just way too adorable to pass up they still have the sticker on them from Goodwill actually because I have not touched them but they are carrot candles like literally they're just candles that look like carrots and I I don't know why I just thought they were way too adorable and just kind of funny to pass up so we've got our carrot candles to figure out how we can style those and I got these yesterday as well it's just a little cute duck family and uh, if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok you've probably seen the beginning of the year I shared a reel of my trend prediction and it was just all of the duck paraphernalia that I've seen at the thrift store recently I always feel like whenever I start to see a lot of something at the thrift store you know like some like people are obviously getting rid of this one specific type of thing I always feel like within like six months to a year that comes back and so for me at the beginning of this year when I was thrifting I just noticed that there was like so 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 much of like the 80s duck kitschy cute stuff and I was like you know what I bet I bet ducks are gonna come back and it's so funny because now so many people will send me duck stuff that they see at the thrift store and I love it it's so funny and I think I've unintentionally become like the duck girl, even though th I think these are my first duck things that I've ever bought. I think just because I shared that reel, now people think of me as duck girl. So, but now I have ducks. So I guess you can call me duck girl if you really want to. And lastly, these are not vintage, but they were so cute and so useful that I couldn't pass up. But I found this set of 
measuring cups at a estate sale just this past weekend. They're super nice, very sturdy. They're William Sonoma and they're all in like spring pastels. And I just thought these would be so pretty to just, you can just leave them sitting out, but then you can also use them. I feel like I'm always losing my measuring cups anyway. So it's <laughs> always good to have an extra set, but that's my little mini thrift haul. I do have plenty of other stuff that I've thrifted. Most of the decor you'll see has been thrifted or it's vintage, but this is just what I've gotten more recently, specifically with spring decorating in mind. But now it's time to actually get to work and actually fill up these shelves. So whenever I redecorate, I always like to start with the things that I, I know I'm definitely gonna be putting up here. So like for me, I always keep all of my baking goods, my flour, my sugars, all of this stuff that it just always lives on the shelf because I, you know, my kitchen aid is down here. And so I can just kind of, this is the best spot for them and it's a staple for me. So we're gonna keep them here. We're just gonna plop them back up. And then I figured once I have sort of my staples set, then I can kind of start layering in some of the new stuff. At one point this winter, I thrifted these cute little doilies. I think it's when I got that giant box of ribbon that I've been working through. I think these were in there, but aren't these so cute? They're clearly like handmade and I just love them. So I feel like we'll just like sprinkle them throughout the kitchen too. Another fun thing that I got recently or I acquired recently is this flower frog with matching vase. Um, it's like the pink, uh, I think they call it the depression era glass. So pretty. I think actually that my grandmother gave me this. She was cleaning out her, her stash and I'm, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly around Christmas, she was getting rid of some stuff and I saw this on her shelf and I was like, well, don't mind if I do. It is so pretty, but I have seen these in a lot of antique stores. If you're on the look for them, there's also a couple on Etsy usually that you can find or eBay. But I thought it would be fun to do a little, you know, spring flower arrangement to bring some sunshine in here, especially because today is a especially rainy day. I grabbed some flowers just from the local grocery store this morning. They didn't have a huge selection, but they had some tulips and those are like one of my favorites for spring. I just, who, who doesn't like tulips, right? So we got some pink tulip and just some baby's breath, which I just, I always love. I personally love baby's breath. Let me know what your favorite spring flowers are, but I especially love tulips and baby's breath. I think especially together, they're just such a pretty little pair. honestly kind of forgot that I still have a garland on top of our built-in cabinet. 
it's just it was kind of like I had to really fight with it to get it up there in the first place and I think after when I was taking down all of the other Christmas stuff I was just like no you can stay you can stay a little bit longer so um we'll see how easy that comes down painted these little snoopies for christmas which i absolutely love them i love how they turned out but i always was planning on you know when i'm done with them just repainting so today we're also just gonna give them a quick sand down and a fresh coat of paint it's really such a small area <laughs> that i don't think it'll take very long at all <music> Welcome to the dining room. I did this little like hanging moment from our fan and I really loved how it turned out and I still love it, but it is time for it to go. Also, I have a mess all over the dining room table and I am kind of like wanting to do like a power through this. Like, let's see how quickly we can get things cleaned up, get this down get the fan blades back up on the fan and just sort of give the dining room like a quick mini, like not super spring, but just like a little bit of spring vibes without going too overboard. Yeah, let's do it. is to just try to take it all down in one piece that way I could just like take it straight to the basement and not have to take it apart yet which maybe I'll just leave it all together and if I want to put it back up next year I can just put it all back up next year in one piece let's see how this goes I think it should be yeah I think all right this is easy obviously easy obviously I need to make sure I get all of the string off of here and we'll take the bow off too there's that guy all right all right this is this is not gonna be bad as long as i can get this look at that that was so much easier than i thought it'd be a lot of people do for decorating videos like little placemats and they do actual like a full tablescape i am just not a tablescape girly i don't know about you but for me we use our tables so much like we eat every single meal here we a lot of times we'll plop down and work on our laptops here it is a very functional space and so i do love to throw a tablecloth on sometimes because it's just adds like such a nice cozy element just that little bit of linen but i never really do table settings because inevitably i would immediately take them off because we need the space a lot of people have sort of like breakfast nooks where they tend to eat most of their meals or like eat at a breakfast bar and they only use their dining room for like formal occasions so like a couple times a year and then i always love to hear from other people who like are big dining room users not that no shame whatever you do i'm super interested to hear so let me know and also let me know have you decorated for spring yet do you wait until it is officially a spring on the calendar what do you do for spring? Thank you so much for spending this rainy day with me. I hope you are having a lovely week and I will see you next time. With a matching vase. It's okay. It's okay. Holy cow, that thing went flying.